So three bit binary ripple counter. So you know that what is meant by a counter? Counter is used for counting the pulses. It is also a group of flip flops with clock signal okay so this counter can be divided into two types one is your uh, asynchronous counter it is also called as a ripple counter okay ripple or asynchronous counter and synchronous counter synchronous counter so today we are going to see a ripple counter an example of ripple counter is 3 bit binary ripple counter using jk flip flop okay so 3 bit means you are going to use 3 flip flops. So there are 3 JK flip flop. Okay. So flip flop 0, 1 and 2. So if I take this as flip flop 0, flip flop 1 and flip flop 2. Okay. So what will be the 2 inputs? JK will be your inputs JK flip flop. Okay. And you will be having, uh, so counter is nothing but a group of flip flops with clock signal. Okay, so here there are three JK flip flops. So what will be your output? If I can take this as A, A bar, B, B bar, C, C bar. So in the case of counter, the JK will be shorted together and it acts as a T flip flop, right? So you will be having your JK to be shorted together and it will be connected to your VCC. Why? What is the reason? Because so VCC or it is high. Okay. So it works only in the toggling state that is when JK is equal to 1. So when J is equal to 1 it will be in the toggle state. So here the counter will work only in this condition. Okay. When J and K is equal to 1. Okay. And now you will be giving a clock to the first Flip flop that is your flip flop zero. This will be your clock signal. So it is also taken as your LSB. So here you will be taking your output. So the output of one flip flop will be serving as the clock to the next flip flop. Okay. So here it will be serving as the clock to the third flip flop and so on. Okay. So this will be your output A, B and C. So this will be your LSB bit and this C will be your MSB bit. So this is your diagram of your 3 bit binary ripple counter. So what is your uh, counter? See here it is a bubble structure. So it indicates that it is a negative edge triggered flip flop. Now if you write the truth table. So if I can write here this is your negative clock and MSB a is your LSB 3 bits ok and counter output. So what will be your uh, data uh, initially you are assuming that the output is 0 ok. So during the first clock pulse that if I take A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H ok or you can take it as 1, 2, 3, 4 clock pulse as 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. So if you have n in inputs, your output will be 2 power n. So in this case, n is equal to 3. If you have 3 inputs, output will be 2 power 3, which is equal to 8 outputs. Okay. So in the first, it counts from 0 to 7. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Again, it goes back to the zero state it repeats okay so counter counts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then it goes back to zero and it repeats again this is your truth table of your 3 bit binary ripple counter now what will be your waveform now let us see the working principle so if i take this as your clock sequence okay so it is a negative edge triggered right so, if I take this as A, B, C, D, E, all negative trigger, okay, E, F, G, H, it goes on, okay. So, what is happening in this, let us see by the explanation. So, initially you are assuming that all the output or the all the flip-flop is clear, it is in the zero state, okay. So this will be your clock signal. So A is 0, B is 0, C is 0. A, B, C. 
Now what happens during the first uh, negative edge trigger A clock pulse what will happen? So during the clock pulse A always your whenever you apply the clock the LSB or the flip flop 0 will be toggling. Okay. So here initially the A is equal to output A is equal to 0. So when you apply the first clock that is during the negative trigger of your A clock pulse A what will happen to your output? Output will uh, shift from 0 to 1. It will toggle to 1. So this will be during the clock pulse A. Okay. So 1. What will be your A output? A will go to 1. High. Now since here it is 1. Here it is negative edge triggered. It will There will be no change. Okay. So B and C will remain the same. So B will be 0. C will be 0. Okay. What happens in the next triggering pulse. So next a negative trigger during the B what happens again your flip flop 0 will get toggled from 1 to 0. Second condition it is 0. Now this will be during the second clock pulse B. So during the second clock pulse uh, B your A will go to 0. Okay. What happens now here it is 0. So it is negative edge triggered. When it is 0, it will trigger, it will toggle your next flip flop. That is B output initially what was in a clear state. Now it will go to 1. So what is happening? This 1 has happened during the clock pulse B. So during the clock pulse B, your output will go, output of B will go to 1. Here it is 1. So this will not trigger because it is a positive. Here it is negative edge triggered. So C will be remaining as 0 as it is. Okay, now during the next triggering pulse. So during the next triggering pulse, see what will happen when the next trigger is applied. See, 0 will change to 1. So this will be happening during the next triggering pulse. See, your A will go to high. What happened to your A is 1. So uh, when A is equal to 1, this will be remaining the same. B and C will be remaining again same. Okay, B is high. So it remains same in the same position. Now C is equal to 0. It will also remain in the same condition. There is no change because B is equal to 1. Okay. Now what happens during the next triggering pulse? That is when D. During the next triggering D what will happen? 1 will change to 0. So this happens during the next triggering pulse D. When it is 0 A will go to 0. Okay. Now here it is 0. So it will trigger the next flip flop. So what will happen to your B? B will go change from 0, 1 to 0. So this is happening during your triggering pulse D. Okay. So here it is again 0. So what it will, it is negative right. So it will trigger your next flip flop. So C will, initially it was 0, it will change to 1. So this is happening during your pulse D. Negative triggering pulse D. So what will happen? Your B has changed to 0 during the uh, D pulse and your C has changed to 1. C from 0 it has moved, moved to 1. Okay. So here it is 1, 0, 1, 0. Here it is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. It has become 0. Here it has become 1. Okay. Now what happens during the next pulse E? 0 will change to 1. So this clock pulses here it is during the next clock that is E. What is happening? Your A has changed to 1. A has changed to 1 means B will remaining 0. Okay. So when uh, during the triggering pulse E is equal to 1, there is no change in B and C. It remains the same. Okay. Now what happens during the next triggering pulse? E F. F. 1 will change to 0. So this is happening during the clock pulse F. Okay. So F it will change to 1 to 0. Okay. Now A will go to 0. What will happen when it is 0? Your B will change. Will have a change. So 0 to 1. It will change to 1. So what will happen here? This is happening during the F clock pulse. It is changing to 1. So B goes to 1. Okay. But what will happen since it is 1, there is no change. C will maintaining remaining in constant. Okay. Now what will happen to your F? G. During the next clock pulse G, what happens? Again, it will change to toggle to 1. So this is happening during G1. When it is 1, there is no change in the other two flip-flops. Okay. So G will be, uh, so A will be equal to 1. But the other two remains the same. Okay.
G. What happens to your next clock pulse H? H1 will change to 0. So this is your H. During the H, it will change to 0 so that it will trigger the flip-flop 1. So here also it changes to 1 to 0. This will happen during the H. So during the H, your A will go to 0. Now B will change from 1 to 0. Now this is 0, right? What will happen to your... Um, it will trigger the next flip-flop, third flip-flop, uh, that is your flip-flop 2 also. So from 1, it will change to 0. So this is happening in your state or clock pulse H. So during the clock pulse H, everything will go to 0, 0, 0. See here, it is getting cleared. So again, the cycle repeats. So this is how you are going to get your output, okay? And you can uh, see here, the special feature of here is uh, during all the negative triggering pulse, your flip-flop output A will be changing. Now the output A during the negative triggering pulse, right? Output A will serve as a clock to the B. So during the negative trigger of your A, your B will be toggling. Similarly, during the negative triggering of your B, your C will get toggled. So the toggling happens during the negative triggering pulse. Okay. So it is also called as a frequency divider. A is serving as a clock to the B. B is serving as a clock to the C. Okay.